Now a lot of people have been asking, hey Indie Mogul, why do your videos look so good on YouTube? Well, this is a pretty uh, simple explanation to that. And it has to do with YouTube bowing in the presence of greatness. Or us just, you know, having a pretty standard setting preset that we use. Now the program we most recommend is Final Cut. You can get Final Cut Express, not HD, Final Cut Express for pretty cheap, usually somewhere around $100. And upgrading to HD isn't that much more. And it's just a really great program. And if you're using Windows, you should probably get a Mac anyway, if you wanna make video. Now before we box up the video and ship it out to be sent, there's a few things you wanna to do to make sure that it looks good before it goes out. Go to Effects, and then Video Filters, and then Video, it's like de-interlace. Now because computer screens and TV screens have a different setup for how they display images, de-interlacing your video is gonna make it proper for watching on a computer screen. A lot of times when you capture your footage to your computer, it's gonna be darker than how you shot it. So you wanna up the brightness and the contrast a little bit, and maybe use your RGB and your gamma correction to really get a clear and visible image. Now the main thing we're trying to do here is get your video looking good, but still under 100 megabytes. So you're gonna to go to File, Export, using QuickTime Conversion, and then select as your format MPEG-4. Use all the same settings we have here, unless you shot in widescreen. Then you wanna go 640 by 360. And where it says Data Rate, make that as high as you can, while the file still remains under 100 megabytes, or 100,000 kilobytes. Now go into audio and under data rate, pick anything that's above 128. If you're using iMovie, then go to file, export, and click QuickTime, and then select expert settings. Click share, and then do the exact same settings we did for Final Cut Pro. If you're using Windows, I'd recommend switching to Mac, or exporting your file to a full quality AVI. Usually any program that you can edit with, you'll be able to export a full quality file with. And then you want to download this program called Windows Media Encoder. Here's the link right here. Now I'm not going to go into detail about the settings for your WMV files, because once again, what you're just trying to do is get the top quality for every setting, the highest it can be, while the file still remains under 100 megabytes. Okay. 